Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Mark Bradshaw. And I'm Neely Jones. Channel 8's Maureen Wartz joins us now live with details on how businesses and health officials brace for what's to come. Maureen? So the dining room here at Lone Wolf is closed, but there is carry out and delivery options. Now for the folks who run this here, they tell me they're choosing to run their business this way because there are way too many unknowns if they open the doors and let everyone in. In the time of COVID, times are tough. Running a restaurant means taking it day by day. We've had to, there have been days where I have not been able to create a schedule until, you know, 12 hours before because we don't know what's going to happen. Madeline Eller, who manages Lone Wolf Bon Me off of 11th and Harvard, says they've been navigating the unknown for months now. It's just better that way. As things have opened back up, we've gone with our comfort level. Health officials warn this week has the potential to be another record-breaking week for COVID cases. If we don't do it now, we're only gonna, we're, we're only gonna continue to bend the curve in the wrong direction in ways that we don't want to, to see happen. Dr. Bruce Dart with the Tulsa County Health Department saying this is the week where there may be a spike in COVID-19 cases from the president's rally in June. True American way. But our modeling show us that if, if we can't normalize this kind of activity, and really get people to be aware and sensitive to, to physical distancing, wearing masks and washing hands, uh, we have a great potential to be overwhelmed, both our public health and healthcare system. So, Dart saying the Memorial holiday caused a jump in cases and the 4th of July may cause one too. We touch a customer, we change our gloves. We touch a piece of food, we change our gloves. We touch a surface, we change our gloves. So it's, a, it, it's an expensive endeavor, but it's definitely worth it. She says when the University of Tulsa closed down, it was another hit, but by having a pickup window and expanding delivery options, they've been able to stay up and running. That's one thing that I have been trying as well as our owners have been trying to do is stop getting ahead of ourselves so much, trying to think too much, too, too much or too far into the future. You know, we're just taking it one step at a time. Um, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. So health officials say it often takes a couple of weeks to see the impacts of large gatherings, which is why they're looking at President Trump's rally this week. Now, health officials are also considering that potentially in two weeks, there might be some impacts from the 4th of July holiday. Reporting live near 11th and Harvard, Maureen Wertz, Tulsa's Channel 8.